Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, we are out here again, Lake Palestine. I'm gonna go uh, do some live scope video for you guys. Uh, really explaining how to uh, find brush, uh, scan for brush using live scope. But uh, hopefully the day gets better. So far I've broke my rod already, the tip off my rod, and uh, blew out my flip-flop. So I walk back to the truck barefooted to get shoes. And uh, yeah, it's been an interesting day so far. But man, y'all hang out with me. We're gonna do some uh, live scope footage. And uh, hopefully by the time you're, we're done with this, you'll understand how I do uh, live scope when I'm, I'm searching for brush. Once I'm, I'm leaving a pile, I'm gonna go to the next pile, try to find it, uh, what I do to scan it. So uh, anyway, y'all hang in with us. All right, guys. Hey, I want to show you today how to scan for brush using LiveScope. So um, I just turned it on. Uh, had some issues with it. Anyway, got it set. Had to do an update, and uh, so now we're ready to roll. So this is how uh, it showed up this morning. You're gonna notice my lake floor is is a little bit higher than I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change that. Then I'm gonna uh, expand this thing out as well for scanning. Uh, so I'm gonna turn my back here to look at LiveScope, but I'm gonna put the uh, the live scope, the active captain version of it on online here for you. So, first thing I'm gonna do is go to menu, depth range, and I'm gonna change that down. What this does, this provides me is a bigger picture. I got a jig down there, and let me just see if I can catch that little fish right there before we walk out of here. So, guys, what I'm gonna do at this point is you can see I'm up to 20 yards out. I'll go ahead and scroll this out to about 70 yards. Now you see it's really, really blurry over there, just fuzz, but what it's gonna do is allow you to see brush out in the, in the, in the, pat, in the future. So uh, see, look at there, there's actually one 30 yards out right there. So we can go on here, I can move on up to 30 yards or a little bit before there. Oh yeah, PVC pipe, there we go. Once I get it to the 20 range, I'll zoom in to 20, that gives me a much bigger picture. There's some good sized fish down there. So I'm gonna stop here, get my uh, I'm gonna fish this for a minute, guys. <clears throat> Got him. Not huge, but he's a fish, he's a crappie. He's got a thump, baby, got a thump. All right, guys, so we've got a, we found this one here. I've already marked it on my deal, so I'm gonna keep going. So, let's scroll out here to about 80 feet, 90 feet, and start looking around. Don't see anything way out there. That's what I just left. Start scrolling out this way. All the time I'm just moving this around. Okay, there's something about 40 feet. So you'll notice, I mean, sometimes it could, it could be a bait ball, guys. You just don't really know until you get there. You learn to you see what the structure looks like. So yeah, it's a little brush pile, looks like. It's still not all that clear. I'll go ahead and move my depth range down just a tad. Or up a tad rather. So there's that one little stump. 20 feet. That's cool. Where let's see, I don't have that on my cat my thing, so I'm gonna mark that. Get right on top of it. Mm 
Hmm, looks like you got a couple fish on there too. All right. Mark. Okay. Now I'm gonna get back out here and start start looking around. There's a bunch of Christmas trees out here somewhere. Hundred and forty feet, that's a little too much. Okay, there's something it looks like 50 feet 60 feet you see, you see it's, there we go those are those Christmas trees I guarantee you so I'm gonna zoom back in here look for them yep those are the Christmas trees basically as you go you just zoom it in a little a little closer I think it's got a lot of fish on it too. Huh. Maybe I should try to catch one. <laughs> this never gets old guys never gets old okay stop anyway so yeah that's it so I'm sitting here with this I want to go find another one I'll just scroll down there's a brush pile right there at 50 yards I think that's the one I already passed up earlier so it kind of made a circle but maybe not. Let's go try it. So if you look up at the four line, the four foot line, there's some little things way up there. Look just like the ones at the bottom. The thing is that on the bottom, most likely it's not a bait ball. It's actually gonna be a brush pile. So you can have a little more confidence with that. Once you're out far, it's hard to tell guys. But um, no, I don't think I saw this one earlier. Oh, yeah, I did. No, I didn't. It's a new one. So I'm at 20 yards now, so I can zoom in. For 20. Yeah, I'm going to catch a couple on this guy, because this has got some big old fish in it. All right, let's see if this is going to cooperate with me here. Of course, it's gone now. That gummit it moved. Or the boat moved rather. Come in right behind that guy because he didn't want it. I want that fish right there. Got it. Ah. All right. So guys, as you can tell right now, brush piles, they are small, but they're still fun. I, these little ones are just impossible. All right, guys, forgive these things. I gotta, if you turn off those notifications, it, 
I've got to keep searching on this, but uh, apparently if you turn the notifications off, it quits letting you update and use Active Captain, which has been my issue. I had to turn them back on. So um, anyway, hopefully, guys, hopefully this will help you out and give you a little insight on how to scan for, uh, for brush, for stumps, for fish in general using LiveScope. Um, and just, I mean, obviously you can tell it's not very clear once you get out about 30 feet. Uh, the closer in you are, the more clear it is. And uh, so I just recommend if the fish don't get spooked, um, man, get right down where you can just drop straight down on them. If the fish, like today, the wind's up, so water is beating on the bottom of the boat, they're getting a little more spooked. Um, as you saw that one time I, I drove over them, they kind of took off. And uh, so what you're going to try to do is just figure out what your water is, figure out how your wind is and how close you can get to them and some of that you can only do by by checking and uh and testing out but um anyway hope this this helps y'all uh a little bit with live scope live scope is something that you're constantly learning constantly enjoying though and uh yeah it's fun challenging <laughs> people think it's a, a live video game they're gonna catch all the fish in the world well you're not Y'all saw me on that one. I couldn't catch a fish on that one pile. Now they were smaller, obviously, but still, I've got so many fish that just kind of, as my jig's coming down, they come up to it, start raising my jig, they just follow it, and then finally they'll stop. So uh, it's fun, to, it's fun thing to use, but I don't always catch fish. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, have a good day. Stay tuned for the next uh, next episode.